face to face time with Tyson. Is that the first time you've seen each other since the trilogy? Yeah, that's the first time I've seen him uh, uh, since then. So, you know, it's good to see everybody. You know, it's, uh, boxing is a uh, it's a small family, you know, and and you have to take it accordingly, you know, and it's a time and place for all things. And uh, right now is not the time for, for anything just to have fun and answer some questions and uh, enjoy a good, 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 good matches. So I guess you've all seen the image of Deontay Wilder, the way he's dressed, the way he looks, his uh, visit to Saudi Arabia. And we'll get to that later, but here's a general uh, observation that I made. It just dawned upon me after I watched this video here. Jeff is here. Jeff's here. Jeff is here. Jeff's here. So after watching that video, it kind of dawned upon me, right? After watching Deontay Wilder, Derek Chisora, and I think Anthony Joshua, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure Anthony Joshua. All right. I had to contrast them, right? And of course, I think um, Coogan Cassius, who looks like one of them anyway. It looks like a, he looks like he's from Sri Lanka, looks black. All right. It dawned upon me that all these black people and niggers, they're very different to Tyson Fury and Eddie Hearn and some of the other white guys that go over to Saudi Arabia. And what's the difference? The difference is the white man goes over there and he's just a white man. He's comfortable in his own skin and his own clothes. But the black people and the niggers and the nignogs, suddenly they want to be Arab. Suddenly they, they, they can't wait to put on that Arab garb. You know what I'm saying? I start swanning around like they actually part of the Arab elite down there. It's just an observation that I made. And I just think like, you know what, that, you know, what they say, Eddie Hearn, I, I don't think I've ever seen Eddie Hearn, he might have. And I don't think I've ever seen Usyk. I'm not sure whether I ever saw Andy Ruiz or any of those guys dressed like Arabs. It's all, listen, as soon as a black man, one of them niggas touched down there, there they are, Deontay Wilder, Derry Chisora, I'm not sure about Anthony Joshua, but I'm guessing he would do it for political purposes. I, you know why I can actually excuse him? But a lot of them are just fucking sad, man. Seven eight, please educate these dumb summer bitches. You got the floor, though. Hey, it's a little, it's a little ticket. Hey, yeah, man, I, I'm sorry, bro. I missed a little bit of it because I was driving. But well, you know, that's the thing, though, with black folks, bro. No disrespect to none of the brothers on the panel. I don't know who else on here or nothing or, or what your opinion is. But like, the thing with black people is, bro, is we've been 
like, look, we've been taught, we already know we've been taught to hate ourselves. But a lot of black people think that shit is gone back in slavery, some shit. Nick, that's, that's still here today. Black people show so much aggression towards other black people. We ready to throw down. We don't give a fuck. You step on our shoes, you disrespect us. We got to prove to you that I'm a man. Now, a white dude or anybody else can shit all over black people, and we come, we become very strategic. Now, all of a sudden, mm-hmm. we, we want to think shit out, and we want to fucking mm-hmm. uh, 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 cop a plea with a motherfucker. We want to uh, go get our phone and say, oh, he called me the N-word. Okay, well, well why you stomp him out like you did uh, uh, Chris the other day? <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? It don't make no yes. sense. Like, so it, that, That's a fear. That's a yeah. fear that black people ha- have since you know where that come from? That come from yeah. it come from slavery. It come from mm-hmm. every generation of black folks telling their kids, uh, you know, they watch how their parents act around white folks. Fear them white they people, yeah. They watch their mama change her tone. She mm-hmm. was just talking to she was just talking to her, her sister. Now some white folks get on the phone and now her mama uh not even Hello. Mama, they how you they doing? Their tone. So they they watching this and they they develop a, a unspoken fear of white folks. OK, yeah. so Skip Bayless is comfortable. He can sit in Shannon Sharp's face, totally disrespect him. And like when Shannon took off his glasses, he said, hey, put your glasses back on. Hey, nigga, you ain't finna do jack shit. You know how y'all yep. do now. Jordan Dimmons yep. running around out here. You ain't finna do nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I was Stephen A. Smith or something, you'd do something. You ain't finna do shit to me. He know that. Mm-hmm. So they, they, they... OK, so. um. As you can see by the title of this video, I'm going to get some context to what I'm about to talk about here. So it's not like I'm just saying this just to be a nuisance, all right? I mean, yeah, in a way I am, but, you know, it's more or less like people give you ammunition for this type of stuff. As you can see, right, Delta Waters, you know, he's back in there in in, in this sort of, uh, this small space. He's back in the headlines as a small space again. You understand me? You got, what, what's this here? Suppose it says, let me see. Let me see there. It says, like, Deontay Wilder is a guilty. Well, that's by some dude, so you know, I, I don't know, the kind of guy who makes those type of videos. But anyway, man, so Deontay Wilder's back. I was watching this the other day, man. Let me, give me, let me see. Let's go back to this. Remember? Oh, uh, wait, one second, y'all. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, really? I, I'm sure this is not what the other water fans want to see, but this is, you know, this is the reality, right? Do you know what? The reason why I watched this the other day, right? Let me just pause that for a second, if you can pause. Yeah, it doesn't pause properly. Anyway, the reason why it doesn't pause is like something's wrong with the screen, it doesn't work there. As you can see, I can press it as much as I want it. But if I turn it, yeah, and the button, then it will pause, yeah? Well, something's wrong with the screen of it. This is like an old iPad that I just use it to read, basically. But the thing is, what I wanted want to point out is here, is that what really struck me about Deontay Wilder here, and this has got nothing to do with the material point that I'm going to make here, is how scared... Deontay Wilder knew it was over by then. Deontay Wilder was faking it. And what me, what me, what I observed about this, and I'm just watching mannerisms and, and all that, is watch, watch how he tries to block the second punch. It's almost like he... It's like, just putting up a weak, a weak and meek defense. And what really struck me about this is that he said the same thing about Dominic Brazil when he attacked Dominic Brazil when he, when when Dom, when he first uh, rushed Dominic Brazil. He said that Dominic Brazil put like a up arms like ah, get off me, and he did the same thing with Deontay Wilder. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, sorry, with um, with Tyson Fury. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Watch when Fury throws a left punch, then he throws a right punch. And all Deontay Wilder could, could do was throw an arm and say like, ah, get off me. And that's what he said about Dominic Brazil. So the guy's a hypocrite anyway, but that's par for the cause. Watch this. This is what I'm talking about here. Watch this. One, and look, see the, the other arm that just went in. What, what were you trying to block? What were you trying to block? It was the left arm that came. It was the, it was the left punch that came first. What was the right arm? Just, ah, it's just like, ah, get off me. Watch. <laughs> anyway, enough of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Enough of that shit. Now, what I'm really want, what I really want to get at is this, right? What I really want to get at is this. Okay, the underwater is back. All right, and I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna talk about some shit. Is some of this video here? 
I'm not sure whether they should have said in video here. It's all about Deontay Wilder confronts the, uh, the Tyson Fury. What's that? It says Tyson Fury confronts Deontay Wilder in Saudi. Those, that's a pro Tyson Fury channel though. Uh, what's this one? Francis Zagano. This is this. Uh, it says Deontay Wilder signs with Saudi Arabia. Skill challenge. Deontay Wilder. I'm not sure. Oh, that's 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 that dude from England, yeah. So you know, you never know who's telling the truth or not. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not really gonna get into that until I until it's official. But Deontay Wilder did say something about he's working on some deal and stuff like that. And here's my thing: the reason why I'm making this video is because Sunday Sports TV has Deontay Wilder up there and he's praising Deontay Wilder for making these maneuvers and shit. But here's the thing: when Matchroom and Anthony Joshua went over to Saudi Arabia and they built a whole, uh, was, no, forgive me, was it Dubai or Saudi Arabia? I can't remember, I think it was Saudi Arabia, right? Yeah, it was Saudi Arabia, right? When they went over to Saudi Arabia, right? And they built a whole stadium, yeah? Was it, uh, I can't remember, I think it was Saudi Arabia, yeah? Don't, I think, yeah. They went over to Saudi Arabia, they built a whole stadium. Semi Sports TV fixed his mouth to, to claim that there was some kind of great injustice that was going on because they were using slave labor to build that stadium. And how could they? And stuff like that. And blah, 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 blah. It was all bullshit anyway. He just wanted the shit to fail, basically. That was what, you know, because, you know, what, what, what Matchroom did there is groundbreaking. Now Deontay Wilder is taking his fucking mush mouse over there, dressed like a fucking Arab. Dressed like a fucking Arab. You know what I'm saying? If anybody should be more sensitive to the plight of black people and Arabs, it should either, I can't stand that, man. I really can't stand that when black people dress like fucking Arabs. You understand me? You know what I mean? That's why, to be honest with you, I kind of like the stance that Farah, Louis Farrakhan took when he went over there, when they, when they were trying to Arabize him, even though he called himself Nation of Islam. But, you know, that's by the by. So this, this nigga, just for the sake of money, he goes over there. This is Top Rank. This is Top Rank channel. What does it say? I'm sure you can read. It says, Deontay Wilder updates career plans if all goes according to something. I haven't seen that. Anyway, you know, I haven't watched it. So Deontay Wilder, right? He dressed like a freaking Arab. He knows that it's a Fury event. He goes over there. Top rank he's carrying it. So we kind of know that what they're trying to do is get a fourth fight and sort of bypass Usyk or whatever. You know what I mean? And that's about it. Mike Tyson, Deontay Wilder, break bread. I fucking hate that term, breaking bread. It just sounds so fucking primitive, break bread. You break bread. Fucking bullshit. But anyway, man, because this is like sort of like the lead-in to the video I'm gonna, in which I say that, that, that Deontay Wilder is a bit of a fucking whore. And the reason why I'm saying it's a whore and the fact that 78 Sports TV, I mean, he could be a hypocrite. He is what it is. But I do not know. Listen, let me, let me just put it this way. Deontay Wilder has turned 78 Sports TV into a fucking cuck. He's a cuck for fucking Deontay Wilder. It's unbelievable how many bend over positions this motherfucker would take for Deontay Wilder. Hey, they may use the money for, for, for... Uh... Four guys yeah, four. Bless, bless. <laughs> Deontay, round four? Yeah. Um, what's that? <laughs> Good respect, that <laughs> man. When are you going to return? Yo, San Diego Sports TV, man. Man, you need to holler at your fucking man. Check this out. Watch this again. Look at, look at Tyson Fury's face when they hug. Zoom in to see Tyson Fury's face when they hug. And look at who initiated the hug and look at the face of Tyson Fury. That's your man there. That's his bitch, man. That's your king. That your king is Tyson Fury's bitch. Tyson Fury ain't genuine one bit. You know, listen, when they hug, when you see his face, when you see his face, you can see that that hug was not genuine. That there's something there. And Deontay Wilder, despite all the shit he talk, how much he keep it real? He still went over and hugged the man. Bless you, bless you. Nigga, you stupid. But anyway, it is what it is, man. I bet you're going to fucking... <laughs> you know what you're going to do? You're going to go back and you're fucking going to fluff his fucking balls up again. It is what it is, man. You do you, though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, this is just... 
internet criticism maybe there's some shit there that i don't see you know because he's gonna meet the king of saudi that, that, even that in self that in itself is such a bitch move isn't it supposed to be your king but oh it's a big deal because he's gonna go meet the king of saudi arabia no it's probably oh some prince or some shit i don't know what you wrote <laughs> some prince you should just he's supposed to be a businessman he's going over to saudi arabia to go do business but no you guys are so lowly that you make it about like he's gonna go beg some fucking Arab guy to give him a fucking fight. Man, I don't get it. I don't get it, man. But it is what it is, bro. Let's look, let's look at that look again. Let's look at that look again. Bomb squad! Bomb squad! Hey, round four, guys? Yeah, good. Last, last. Bomb squad!